welcome back. I'm going to chat with you while I get to where we're going. But I thought I'd bring you along and show you what painting the bathhouse and the chicken coop is like for our glamping farm. Getting that ready because we're finally trying to be more than just a tent shack that you pee in. <laughs> Okay, biscuits, I can't see what my camera sees, so I don't know if you see me, but I'm hoping you do. We got this door for free on the side of somebody's yard. They just had it posted um, near one of the kids' classes, and <laughs> I was like, yes! 
So we're gonna see if we can make this work as a door to our bathhouse that we're building, which I will show you. Um, I'm also gonna show you today we are painting and kind of beautifying the chicken coop. I haven't shown you the whole process on that because honestly, I have been learning so much along the way that I don't feel like I'm in a place to share the information. I will share maybe in a sit down video what I've learned not to do, what you absolutely have to do. But it's been such a learning experience. I don't, I wouldn't necessarily recommend <laughs> being that ignorant when you start trying to build things. But it was of necessity. Um, here, I'll show you. So sorry, biscuits. But that's one of our glamping tents. Bathhouse is gonna go right there. You can see the wood is piled up. That's chicken coop. It looks a thousand times better uh, than it did not painted. I can't wait. We have a little trim to do. We should do a second coat of paint. It is outdoor paint. I like outdoor shed paint, but I just don't know if I have the strength. The kids both have colds. I'm fighting off their cold, but we have like this tiny window this time of year where we have like two days of sun for the paint to have time to dry. And so I can't not do it. Uh, so yesterday everybody was totally flat on their back sick and today we were like, we're just going to do our very best um, to get the painting done. And we tired out at, how many panels did we do? Four, five, six, eight. We did like seven, eight, maybe it's like seven and a half panels. Let's say seven panels because some of them aren't totally done at the top. Um, and we have like four more to do. So we're gonna come back after nap time um, and do four more because <laughs> everybody was just exhausted and I can tell they still have a schnapple. But then we're doing it before it rains. Um, Cause there can be weeks coming up where it'll be like three weeks of wet weather and so we won't be able to get this paint done and it'll expose the plywood to all the rain and everything. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this gives us time. I'm okay with putting the shed together in the rain. I don't want to paint in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're doing. It's so cute. I let everybody pick out the paint colors. So Pear and I picked out the purple and um, Abraham got to pick out the pink. And this was the pink color he wanted. I was gonna go with like a pastel -y pale. And he was like, no, he wants this cherry pink kind of color. And I think it looks so good. It's so much brighter than the color I would have gone with. Oh, you all buckled in my studio phone? So I actually think it looks really, really good very impressed by that um, and it looks really cute with some of the edging done in the purple and I think we'll do other colors all throughout the farm in our little sheds and stuff and tiny houses for campers um, because I love the idea of having a colorful beautiful sort of pastel that pink is not pastel but you know kids want to pick out colors um, just kind of a colorful I was thinking like a pastel of wonderland but we'll see what the colors end up being Those photos. Oh, I see apples for sale on the side of the street. 
biscuits. I won't take you long on an apple picking journey. I think that we are going to go over the Cascades to Eastern Washington and go apple picking um, because we want to get a whole bunch to preserve this winter and we can get a really good deal on them out there. It's a fun experience. We might spend the night in a motel. Uh, time shall tell, but I'm going to bring you along. Okay, biscuits. I'll see you in the next video.